The 2017 Love Island contestant Mike Thalassitis was found dead in a park in London at the weekend. He was 26. Tributes have been pouring in from the show's cast and his celebrity friends. Mike was a semi-professional footballer, having played for a range of different League Two teams. He found fame on the ITV dating show, describing himself as tall, dark and handsome. He vowed not to be a villain, but still earned the nickname Muggy Mike. I think it's sad when there's such like a media hype over that and there was so much like flashing back on the whole like Muggy Mike thing that's a bit harsh on someone who's just died. I think it's a bit uncalled for, really. I think it's it's a really interesting discussion because men's mental health is so it still needed so much to be broadcast in the media. I just feel like men still get this massive stigma around masculinity and being tough and kind of not showing emotion, which just for me personally I don't agree with. I just think that's just so wrong. Many are questioning whether reality shows do enough to help their former contestants. Sophie Graydon, who starred in Love Island in 2016, was found dead at her home in June last year. It's probably a bigger problem in society of wondering why we need to maybe go on these reality shows in the first place. And I think if, if they are doing those things and perpetuating a sense of need to, for fame and fortune and all this kind of stuff, then there probably does need to be some sort of, of um, help that goes on behind the scenes when things don't work out the way they planned and, and things like that. In a statement, Love Island broadcaster ITV said Care for Our Islanders is a process in the show they take very seriously and is a continuous process for all those taking part. We ensure that all of our contributors are able to access psychological support before, during and after appearing on the show. The programme will always provide ongoing support when needed and where appropriate. Sophie Halsey for North East Live.